Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to show you guys some Tunnel 6 barging and how I do it and some tips and tricks. So first of all, how you want to train your troops is in one of your barracks you want to put all barbs and in the two other ones you want to cook two sets of archers. And this way you're going to have a ratio of 1 to 2 and you will always end up with about 50 to 80. My army camps aren't maxed yet so you can fit a couple more but yeah that's about how i do it and let's go straight into how you can attack so we're going to look at a couple of my replays first one is going to be on it's going to be on another tunnel six and basically what you try to do is you drop your barbs and then the archers behind and you want your barbs to tank so this first attack i did have a couple of balloons which helped out a lot and I would definitely recommend going into a clan that has better troops than you have just because those troops you can take advantage of and the best thing to do is have uh, air troops in there but yeah you can definitely do it without those kind of troops and I'll show you other raids where I don't have any special troops in my clan castle so this first one you just want to surround the base and the first one I just drop my barbs and then the archers behind and you should be able to take out most of the loot the bases you try to look for you the wither tower shouldn't cover the gold and elixir you try to get to and the mortars shouldn't be too high level I think level 4 or 5 is maybe too high of a level because they can one shot your archers so look for a uh, look for weak splash damage preferably the wither tower is not covering the resources also so yeah, that's the first attack I wanted to show you guys. Let's look at the next one. This one I didn't have any client castle troops and I still managed to get a lot of the loot. So this one, uh, he does have two mortars that could definitely damage my troops. But they're centralized and I try to avoid them. So you don't want to drop all your troops down at once. You want to drop a couple of them and then follow after. This one I kind of just spammed down everything. But you try to drop down your troops in small groups and not drop down all of your troops. My spell factory only has one space for troop uh, for lightning spells. You can have two I think. I am upgrading my spell factory at the moment. And then you can take out one of the mortars or archer towers with the lightning spell. For this base for example I could take out both of those mortars just because they're right next to each other. But yeah, as you guys can see, the barbs are tanking the mortars and the wizard tower, and my archers are behind and just cleaning up the loot in the space. So this is very, uh, it's a very good and efficient strategy, and you can get a lot of loot very quickly because the the troops cook up very quickly, and it doesn't take a long time like giants do or other strategies. So let's do a life attack. I'm gonna look for a base, and then I'll show you how I attack. Okay, so we found a base right here, and this is a pretty good example. So first of all, I want to check for clan castle troops. He does have some, so let's lure those out first. And that's always the first step on attacking a base. You try to take out the clan castle troops, because if he has wizards or troops with splash damage, they could definitely mess up your whole attack. So now I can decide where I want to attack from. I'm not really going for elixir, because I don't really have any elixir grades to do. So what I do is I go for the gold and on the left side he doesn't have any splash damage so I can just pick off all of those storages on the left side with my barbs and archers. So I drop a couple of my barbs to test for traps and then I just spam down the rest. And now I just keep doing that around the base and I want to clean up those outside buildings so my troops go straight for the middle. So I'm going to clean up the left and right side then I'm going to spam down my troops in the left side so they can go right for that gold. So now my troops are targeting that wall and I know if I drop down my troops they're gonna go for that gold. So my troops are breaking down and now I'm just gonna drop the rest of my archers and I should be able to get to most of this gold right here. So I also got the two star and as you guys can see I'm getting most of this loot right here and I took all of the gold. So in my opinion a very successful attack and let's go back yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can definitely use this strategy as a tunnel 7 and 8. It's definitely very common. 
but there's a couple of tips and tricks and yeah so basically all you want to do is tank with your barbs and drop them first and then the archers behind and you should be set i've seen a lot of people use like all barbs and i don't recommend that army comp because if there is splash damage that is fairly high level your barbs are all going to be gone but with barbs and archers um, the barbs are going to be attacked first and then the archers are safe for a couple of seconds so that's going to be it i'm going to do more of those attack strategies for clan war i'm in the current clan war of my clan and i'm going to show you guys some tunnel 6 clan war attacks and then i'm going to do some tunnel 7 and 8 pretty soon too i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and i'll see you guys in the next video